Issues. And of course, there are all kinds of health issues out there. You know it, I know it. But these are some of like the basic stuff that you would hear or see in our daily lives that you need to actually really know about it. It's very, very important that you know them in English. Some of the medical terms like illnesses, your names, um, you know, it's good that we know about it. And so here on the board, I have ache, pain, ache. C'est les mots. Pain, c'est les douleurs. Hurt, c'est se blesser. I hurt my back, je me suis blessé le dos. Pain, c'est les douleurs. Whereas ache, you know, that would be it. So that is an ache. On dit an ache. I have an ache. Chez les douleurs, you know. Pain, douloureux. Hurt. So you can mix and match sometimes. So examples are bark ache, mal au dos, back ache, ear ache, huh? ear ache, mal aux oreilles, ou les mots de les mots d'oreilles, um, stomach ache, mal au ventre, or belly ache, belly or stomach, it's a belly ache, headache, mal à la tête. It could be a headache, it could be a migraine. On appelle ça migraine, pas migraine, but a migraine. It's migraine when it's tense. When it's tense, it's a migraine. So you have a headache, a migraine. You have a toothache, malade, douleur de dents, a body pain, quand on a mal au corps. It's body pain. Pain, ça signifie les douleurs. You know, mal, les douleurs. So, it is mal, les maux de, and then pain, les douleurs. So, I have, oh, I have body pain. J'ai mal au corps. You know, you have body pain sometimes. Muscle pain or muscle ache. You can go either or. Muscle pain, muscle ache. C'est mal aux muscles. Si les muscles um, te font mal. And so, I have muscle pain. I have muscle ache. Okay. You have leg pain. Okay, you have chest pain. Chest, c'est la poitrine. So if I say I have chest pain, ça veut dire que j'ai mal à la poitrine. It's different from a stomach ache. It's very different from a stomach ache. So chest pain, ça veut mal à la poitrine. So these are some of the words you can use. Oh, I have a bad, so what's wrong? Oh, I have a bad ache. I have a headache. I have um, a stomach ache. I have a tooth ache. You know, and all that will tell you, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better. You know, muscle pain, body pain, leg pain, you know, whatever arm pain, whatever you want to put, shoulder pain, whatever you put on the ache or whatever, it tells you about the douleur. And then, of course, you have cough. Cough, c'est tousser. To cough, is tousser. Influenza or a runny nose. C'est le rhume. A runny nose, ça signifie que les narines qui coulent. It's a runny nose. Influenza, c'est le rhume. That's the right term for influenza. Je suis enrhumé. I have influenza. I have a runny nose. So you have runny nose and influenza. Then you have fever, or in some places they'll tell you, oh, a temperature. If you hear someone say, oh, she got a temperature, ça signifie que cette personne a la fièvre. La température s'est élevée. So, you say, oh, my grandma um, had a temperature before dying. Il a eu la, ma grand-mère avait la fièvre. We can say, had a fever. And then you have flu and cold. Flu and cold. It's the same thing. When you have all this ensemble, quand c'est mélangé, Coughing, sneezing, influenza, fever. It's called the flu. So if someone says I have the flu, ça signifie que la personne a les symptômes. La personne souffre quand elle a fièvre, la toux, rhume et tout ça. That's the flu or the cold. Or if you're sneezing all the time to sneeze, sneeze at, atténuer. If you're sneezing all the time, it could be part of it. And stop that sneezing. And then you have dizzy. 
dizziness dizzy ça veut dire dizzy is in french is um, vertige enfin c'est oh j'ai les vertiges je me lève soudain ah, c'est oh 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 j'ai les vertiges it means oh god i am dizzy j'ai les vertiges i am busy i'm dizzy so dizzy is vertige i'm dizzy okay heartburn c'est les mots uh, uh, Heartburn, you know, quand on a mal, mal à la poitrine ou quand on a mal au cœur, it is heartburn, burn, burn, c'est les burlures. I got burned this afternoon, je me suis fait burler ce, cet après-midi. To burn, c'est avoir des burlures. Maybe you sat on a motorbike, tu t'es assis sur une moto and the back and burned you. So, it burned really. Rash, c'est les boutons. I have a rash. J'ai un bouton. I have rashes on my body. J'ai les boutons au corps. Rash is les boutons. Okay. And then you and then you have a broken leg or an injury. An injury. You know, I have a broken leg. Broken ça signifie cassé. Broken c'est cassé. Burn c'est brûlé. A broken leg, j'ai un pied cassé. I have a broken hand, j'ai une main cassée. Broken, so you can be broken or injured. Injured, ça c'est c'est blessé. I was injured at the football match yesterday. Je me suis blessé pendant le le match de foot hier. I have an injured leg, j'ai un, j'ai uh, 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 une jambe uh, cassée. So an injured leg. Okay, a saw, it's called a saw, a saw throat, saw ça signifie mal, throat c'est la gorge, so if you say you have a saw throat, ça dit que vous avez mal à la gorge, vous avez mal à envaler, it's a saw throat, because it leaves in the gorge, a saw throat, mal à la gorge, okay, swollen, swollen, swollen c'est enflé, Quelque chose qui est enflé est swollen. You look at your legs, like me, for example, par exemple, moi. You say, oh my God, you have swollen feet. Tu as les pieds gonflés. Swollen fingers, les doigts gonflés. So, swollen leg, le pied gonflé. Whatever it is, swollen eye, uh, l'œil gonflé. Peut-être quelqu'un, you know, slapped you or something. So, swollen finger, a cut and a bruise. They are similar. A cut, c'est quand tu as une blessure. Tu t'es fait couper quelque part. Oh, I had a cut. I cut myself this morning cutting tomatoes or making breakfast. I have a cut. And then, bruise, c'est les petits, c'est les écratignures. It's a bruise. C'est par exemple, you're, you're running and then you fall down and you scratch your arm and you have little dots. They call it écratignures. That's called in English, bruises. To have bruises. So, oh my God, I have bruises everywhere. Ça signifie que tu as des blessures, mais c'est pas si sérieux que ça. You have scratches and, you know, and a lot of students, but it's not that, you know. Asthma, le T-H est silencieux. It's not asthma. It's asthma. It's pronounced asthma. The T-H is absent. C'est l'asthma. When you have difficulties breathing, asthma. Heart attack. Heart attack. The heart c'est cœur. So heart attack, huh? a heart attack. He suffered a heart attack. He suffered a heart attack. Hypertension, hypertension. Hypertension, hypertension. So there are lots of other illnesses out there that you can imagine, that you can mix and match, that you can learn. So you can use them when you go to a hospital, you're trying to explain to someone, excuse me, um, sir, I have got a headache or I have a headache that they know that you were out and that you came back and had a headache, you know, or, or I have a headache, okay? So those are some of the vocabulary differences between um, an ache, a pain, a hurt, a burn, a dizzy, so, and swollen, or even bruises, they continue bruises, heart attack, say, you know, you know what a heart attack is, so, um, so those are some of the health problems that you have that you should know about because you see them all the time and then we can take precautions about it. Okay? Thank you.